Hey everybody, it's Ed O'Keefe, and uh, uh, welcome to this uh, free Facebook Live video training that I'm going to put together uh, right now uh, for you uh, on how to um, start, grow, and profit in the health uh, supplement uh, business or health product business, health market marketing business, um, health information business, and like I said in the um, uh, title of this, um, why the health market is the fastest growing market, and um, why companies that are totally not related to what you would traditionally think of or individuals as the health supplement business, why they're selling health supplements and why it's a really, 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 really smart thing to do. Now, um, really quickly, uh, so you know what we're doing. So I will be hosting a live a two-day event here in Chicago um, and the dates will be on the link to send you there before. So. Uh, but my goal is that in the next 15 minutes, I'm going to give you literally um, seven to nine, even more of that of the best strategies that I that we've ever used in selling over, um, I think, 750,000 bottles of health supplements or more in the past um, five to seven years. Um, our best year was $28 million in revenue. Uh, we chip away at eight to twelve thousand dollars a day in sales right now with very little effort. Um, there's so many beauties about the health supplement business. Uh, I'm an investor in No Foods, which is um, a gluten-free, grain-free, peanut-free, yeast-free, soy-free, uh, dairy-free uh, bread and uh, company that's going to completely disrupt the market. In my opinion, it's going to be a quarter billion, half billion, and billion dollar. Uh, business over the next so many years so I get to see what they're doing there as well and I have a group of clients um, everyone doing it from as much as a couple thousand bucks a day to even I have a client doing $150,000 a day and one of our other clients I'll tell you quickly about um, you know a year ago was doing just over seven figures a year and now they're doing multiple seven figures a month that's not uncommon in these health markets and I'll tell you what's helped it a lot is two things, okay? If you wanna take notes, uh, this would be a good time to start taking notes, is number one, uh, society's transforming. Um, so you're seeing a much, much greater uh, emphasis on health. It's very common to use the words paleo, eat fats, go gluten-free. All of those things are becoming normal. It's not about are you taking supplements, it's about what supplements are you taking and who you buying them from. The other thing that's happened over the last few years that has dramatically uh, leveled the playing field is Amazon.com has made it so that anybody can get into the into the e-commerce business rapidly. Shopify has made it ridiculously easy for people to be like live within a day or two. Um, great uh, coaches like Ezra Firestone and so many other guys um, are teaching phenomenal Facebook ad strategies uh, to do with e-commerce. Um, and there's been like this direct mail has gotten harder and harder so a lot of offline people are coming online and then probably the third trend that I want to share with you before I go into some of the strategies about traffic conversion uh, inventory cash flow and all the things that you need to know when you go into a health supplement business is that um, uh, uh, the, the amount of consumers coming online and shopping online consistently is growing uh, you know, uh, exponentially. And if you listen to Peter Diamandis, who wrote the book Bold in Abundance, uh, he says the research shows that there's still another three billion people that are coming online over the next few years till 2020. So what's really cool about that is that if, um, even if you have no experience in the internet, even if you are someone who's just dabbling, or even if you are like, well, Ed, I'm a personal trainer, uh, and I don't really understand even how to get in the supplement business or you're someone who's like Ed we we sell like these widgets that I would never even think about um, selling supplements would well, think about a company like Dollar Shave Club right Dollar Shave Club sells razors they just sold for a billion dollars but um, or Dollar Beard Club those guys are doing phenomenal job phenomenal work but they sell health supplements now I was on a call with a friend of mine the other day who runs a protein they sell protein bars and then, I mean, even, I, I, I just had a second ago, um, there, I, with the protein shake I was drinking, they don't sell health supplements yet, but they should, because health supplements, uh, you can go buy them for three to $10 per bottle, like a bottle of this, this is one of our products, Essential Flora 7, 
you could probably buy this for, I think our cost is $6.50, $6.50. And um, we can sell it. The market rate for uh, probiotics is anywhere between $19 to $29 to $39, bucks, right? So you have big margins in the health supplement business. And when you combine it with the ability to go online and to get customers, your targeted customers, um, uh, it's just, it opens up to the world to just a massive possibility. Now, why would you think of doing this? Why not? So let me go through a few of the benefits of the health product business and health supplement business, the health food business, um, like No Foods. I love, the reason I invested in that company is because guess what? They have amazing stuff. And once people like it, they're gonna reorder over and over and over again. And so if your product is actually good, which I would hope it is, and it's as, or if it's phenomenal, then your job is how do you get it into the hands of as many people as possible. And uh, with Facebook, social media, nowadays, you can do that very, very easily. But let's go through some benefits of the health supplement business. Um, and actually, maybe I'll tell you, before I got into the health supplement market, I spent nine years as one of the leading consultants in the, um, and ran a coaching business, seminar business, in the dental marketing world where we were actually showing dentists how to attract patients, how to get leads, how to make them stay or get them to stay and buy more services from them. And the problem with that business was that if I if Ed wasn't working, money was not coming in. If we weren't actively promoting things, money wasn't coming in. And the beauty of like something like this, the health supplement business is that once you acquire a customer, you can put them on auto renewable um, VIP programs that if they like what you're selling them, if you do a great enough job educating them and teaching them how to do it, uh, then guess what? They stay with you month in, month out without having to be resold over and over and over again. So benefit number one of being in a health supplement business like this is that you can actually, you can actually what? Uh, get paid month after month after doing something one time, your sales process, okay? Number two is that the sales process is something that you can build online um, and automate it, right? So you can use tools like ClickFunnels and um, say, you know, just get a merchant account. You can use Amazon.com and drive traffic to those, drive visitors, real people to those, to those uh, sites. And the main role, just to make sure that you totally understand, I'm not telling you that this is the easiest thing in the world and that nobody, uh, that everybody can do it, because quite frankly, it requires learning some things. That's why we hold seminars, and that's why we teach people. But it's a skill set worth gaining because it's like you invest in yourself in the short amount of time, and then every single day, you're paying, getting paid for investment you put in yourself early on, on the front side. Does that make sense? And so my point is, is that it's an autopilot marketing system. So whether we send out, say, 20,000 emails or 100,000 emails, or whether we buy $1 worth of visitors, like so you can go get traffic from Facebook or Google or wherever, or $1,000 or $10,000, your effort, physical effort, effort is gone. It, it, it does not matter. So you want to build a uh, sales machine that can work Okay, whether or not you are physically there working that day or not, does that make sense? So put ask put comments or questions in here um, as we go on there because I really want to answer. Let's see here, I'm just popping up the the Facebook so I can actually see myself. Yeah, there I am. Oh, there's me. That's pretty cool. Um, anyhow, cool. Let me pause that. That was me. I liked myself. That's kind of weird on Facebook. You can do that thing, right? Um, so. Um, that's number one. So the beautiful thing about this business, why it's important to invest in yourself to master this business is because that it is the ultimate time for money escape. You're like you no longer, you get out of the, what am I making per hour? Or if you're in the services business, there's so many talented guys who know Facebook marketing, search engine optimization, or they know optimization, but they only do services. They're doing it for other people. I always think in my head, why aren't you just doing this for yourself? Why aren't you learning how to uh, either get your own formulations of supplements or sub or private label? Why wouldn't you just do that? Why, why not learn that extra mile skill set that's going to give you all these um, other benefits? Um, what else is really positive about the health supplement business? Um, you can autopilot your communication to your customers, right? 
So when I look at like taking on new projects within our own business, we're instantly laying out the 30 day, 60 day, 90 day autoresponder game plan that allows us to communicate, cross sell, upsell, uh, nurture uh, customers to be in there uh, forever. And you can do that on the front side. So you're not doing that day, day to day. So if it's working on the front side, then you build up your customer retention formula, um, which we teach all this stuff, but um, you can automate this. And now your job is to uh, get more traffic to your website and simultaneously, guess what? Optimize your funnel, uh, create more funnels and grow your business. Um, so that's that. All right, so what I wanna do right now is go through like seven key areas of the business that, that I'm gonna give you probably the best advice I can give you. Like it's literally, it's not gonna get much better than that. Of course, you might need to learn more distinctions, but um, here's here's your first bit of advice, right? So in, in the health supplement business, there's like really only five five to six categories you gotta work on, right? Uh, your your core sales message. So we're gonna call that your conversion or, or, or your sales system. That's one big pillar. It is by far, the most important pillar that you can work on and to focus on. After you do that, traffic is now your secondary most important pillar. The reason is, is because everybody thinks they need more traffic to the website. I need more traffic, I need more traffic, I need more traffic. And the reality is, is like, no you don't, not until you can increase the average value of a customer at day zero, now if you have a lot of funding, this, this is a different answer, now, but I'll, I'll address it in a second. At day zero, the day that you buy the traffic, can you improve the conversion rate? Meaning, if I have 100 visitors, and I'm used to getting one person to two people responding and, and buying the product, can you get three to five? Okay, that would double your business like that, okay? Um, and or if your average ticket, like the average transaction size is 120 bucks, which I was in this, I'll, I'll share a little personal story in a second. If you could bump that up to $220, you now literally can go, not double your business, but literally quadruple, quintuple, octuple, I don't even know how higher you can do it. But I'll tell you a quick story. So when I was in the, um, I had two, two times when I started into the supplement business. The first time, I lost everything I put into it like that. I lost $150,000 because I trusted the wrong people, got bad traffic, and did I did like everything, uh, I wanna say I did everything wrong. I didn't do everything wrong. I did about 90% of it right, but I made some poor decisions on my last 10% that sucked up, made some horrible decisions on it, um, and it, it, it just, pfft, I lost it because the customers that were coming in uh, were using fake credit cards. It was it was like, I didn't know there were actually things called fraud networks, but there are where they have fake credit cards or stolen credit cards. And um, they came in and they, they bought my products. I paid my affiliates. My affiliates were the ones who were do, going out and buying fake credit cards to use. I paid them a commission and then I never was capable of getting uh, uh, the second uh, payment off that client. So I don't want to be confusing because I don't want to talk too much about it, but it was like we were doing free trials. So we were paying just shipping and handling. And the way you make money on free trials is after 15 days, when you're dealing with normal people, the majority of the people like the product and stay. But when those people were fake, right, they, they were using fake credit cards, well, they guess what? They, um, they, uh, they, the car didn't charge, so I had already paid out all the money, so that's how I lost it all, just so you know. <coughs> the second time though, I came in, I went the direct mail route. So I hired a team, I paid 25 grand from a copywriter, paid 10 grand for a consultant, I brought in a doctor who was getting paid uh, like 3,000 bucks a month to be my spokesperson. Now you don't have to pay these amount of these fees, I would actually recommend you don't pay these amount of fees. Uh, before you get going, but that's what the landscape looked like in direct mail at the time. You had to be to do to be competitive. I had to get the best people working on my team, like virtually, <clears throat> whether they were consultants, whether they were coaches, whatever it might be. Um, we created an amazing formulation. 
we got up to mailing around 800,000 pieces a month in direct mail, which at that time was one of the top mailers um, out there. The problem I didn't understand was probably what I would call pillar number four, which is understanding the cash flow cycle inside a supplement business. I will get to that in a minute, okay? So bear with me and stick with me. All right, so here's the deal. So uh, number one, two, three. So um, when we came online, I, I brought that sales message online because I was like, you know, it's the problem with direct mail was I was spending all this money to get all these customers and even though on paper it was profitable, the cash flow cycle was too slow for me. And what that meant was um, a, a customer campaign would not be profitable for 45 days. Now, um, I, I got the doctor, hi, uh, I don't know how you say your name, is it Mihai? Where did I find the doctor spokesperson? The consultant I hired helped me find the doctor spokesperson, just to give you an answer on that. Um, but in direct mail, it was costing me, it was costing me, um, say 45 days to get, to get profitable. That is good if you have funding and you have the line of credit and you have like say 300 grand that you can mess around with because what was happening is to, to, to do a, a mailing of 800,000 would cost a like quarter million dollars, 300,000. By the time you're buying product and all that other stuff, uh, in general to fulfill, plus commissions to the call center, and you're trying to grow the business, you, I got caught in this trap of like, I can't grow the business because I didn't have the cash flow. And so it was just a very, it's stuff I didn't know when I was in it. Like I was, again, I was doing everything right, but I couldn't get around the cash flow curve. So even though on paper the business was profitable, I, my cash was getting sucked up, right? Um, so I wanted to move that online. So it was um, a, you know, an online business. And um, the thing is, is it, so it took me like a year, year and a half of just of testing things, trying things, testing things, trying things, doing email drops, which email drops are when you go rent. This is one of the favorite ways to get traffic. You go rent uh, uh, the right to email a certain number of subscribers on a email list of either you know health buyers or something like that, or you could do joint ventures where other people have customers and you, you mail for them to your list of customers, they mail to you. And so those are some of the best ways to get started early on. And last, of course, you go to the Facebook route. And I'll talk about it in a minute. Um, I uh, spent about a year, and I, I was focusing on buying emails, working on our, my sales conversion process. Buying emails, working on sales conversion process. And I was kind of like, you know, we were bouncing between doing like a hundred thousand a month to like two and a half thousand, uh, two hundred thousand a month, two hundred fifty thousand a month online, um, and we were still doing direct mail at the time. So overall, we're doing between four hundred thousand and eight hundred thousand a month in sales. And I still remember to this day, I changed two things. Okay, changed two things in my sales process, and those two things took my average sale uh, or the average transaction size of the customer from 150 bucks a month to 230 bucks a month, okay? And to tell you what that, well, I'll just tell you what it is. So what I did is I just changed my pricing. So like we were doing like a 39, like a buy one at like 39 bucks, buy three at like 99 bucks, and then uh, buy six at 199 bucks, something like that. And we switched it to buy one bottle for 69 bucks, buy two bottles at $119. So check that out. So the first test was, hey, 199, no, $99, we were originally selling stuff for 99 bucks. Then we switched it to 119 bucks for two bottles. And then they could get four bottles at 199 bucks, okay? Um, man, I'm telling you, and then we did one upsell strategy that worked like magic. All the best offers are doing it right now. And since I want you to know that I'm not holding back, uh, and when you come to the live training, you're going to get amazing stuff like this is 
we added a six bottle upsell of the same product, okay? So our top selling product was this product, Marine D3, right? Marine D3, best selling product. Craziest thing in the world was, um, I had been, I had been off, uh, uh, the upsell, like meaning after they buy, like, hey, wait, you get one more thing. Everyone does this, Victoria's Secret does it. I know you guys who buy Victoria's Secret, you know what I'm talking about. Like, it's always like, hey, when people are buying, you gotta offer them more products, right? Right, so, um, so I always thought offer something complimentary. You know, like if someone's getting a toothbrush, what would you offer them? Toothpaste, right? Uh, you wouldn't offer them six more toothbrushes. But this test, I saw some people doing it. I was like, all right, I don't know why this would work, but I'm gonna do it. Which means you gotta like get rid of your limiting belief systems or operating filters. And I just stopped doing it. And, or we just did it. And I was like, holy crap. And our average ticket went from like 150 bucks um, uh, when someone buys to 230 to even 250 dollars per sale. So that means every time someone bought from our product or our site, they were buying uh, or they they were um, spending 250 bucks, so or 230 to 250 bucks. Depends on the source and stuff like that. It's a little more detailed, but anyhow. That, that's a game changer, guys. So check this out. We went from doing 200,000 a month to 1.6 million a month in less than three months. And then that that whole year was a wild ride. It grew up to, I think our best year was three point, or best month was 3.3 million. And um, it was all, so when, I mean, I think one of the hardest things people have is they're like, Ed, where do I focus? What do I focus on? What do I do? Once you have the product, which is pillar number three, and that could easily be moved over to pillar number one, by the way. All right, you can move that over. Um, uh, step number one is market research. It's not, I guess you can call it a pillar, but within the business thing, uh, step number one is market research and, and viability strategies, and I'll talk about that in a moment. But let's talk about product for a second. So there's a couple ways you can do product with health supplements. A lot of guys are asking me the same questions. It's always the same couple questions, so here what they are. Do I get formulated and create my own product? Do I private label, which, Private label means you just are simply utilizing a formulation that other people also have the right to use, okay? And I have opinions on both of them. Um, at the intensive, we'll go more into like the opinions, and you can, you can obviously ask questions of me personally and the other people, my, some of my clients that'll be there. But I'll tell you what, like a couple thoughts I have. First and foremost, this one here, Marine D3, I am the only person on the planet that has that exact formulation, okay? Uh, but at the same time, I'll tell you that people who sell a similar product that they private labeled could easily, uh, not easily, could conceptually sell way more than I do if their, their marketing of traffic and conversion are better. Does that make sense? So when you're learning a business, um, like our, our prostate support formulation, we went to a really reputable uh, formulator who has uh, hundreds of clients that may be selling on, on Amazon, they may be selling in the multi-level mark or the network marketing world, and we got our prostate um, formulation from them. So we're not the only person in the world who has it, but guess what? Our customers get to get it from us. Why? Because they're not on all those other people's lists. They're not looking for it elsewhere. We get to educate them on what we do. Now, when you're in a cool business like uh, like No Foods, everything they do is custom formulation. It's their product. It's their unique thing. That is what they do. When you know when you go to when you go to a GNC, guess what? Ninety percent of all the brand names have exactly the same products, ingredients, everything. And there's thousands of, uh, of little mom and pops who are now in their basement or in their garage, whatever, selling over the internet. And um, uh, they're having success. I mean, look at all the Instagram uh, celebrities now. Look at all the YouTube celebrities. Look at all the, uh, uh, like, look at Six Pack Shortcuts. Look at Organifi.com. Look at um, you know, the three, I think it's like three uh, something foods. I'll think of it in a second. There's so many examples as to why this, this health market market 
is growing so ridiculously big and why wouldn't you be a part of it you know um, I think we're just scratching the surface so um, so that's so step one uh, conversion your your ability to sell in the sales process is the most important thing early on because if you can't do that it doesn't matter about traffic your product could be the best in the world and you're gonna have zero sales okay so after that, let's assume you have a great product. Let's assume, assume you have a good conversion rate thing. You will find out that this whole idea of, well, Ed, I don't really know where to buy traffic or I'm, we, we need traffic, we need traffic, we need traffic. The moment you have a lot of um, uh, a good conversion rate and a good earnings per click, which I'm not gonna go into that right now, a good average transaction size, um, Actually, let me teach this real quick because if this is new to you, you will uh, get to take notes and it will be something that you have to watch maybe once or twice to totally, totally get. If, if you're, if you're a, a, a pro or a semi-pro and you're trying to become world class, this is the most important element from a traffic perspective. Okay, the conversion rate, right? So remember when I was saying how we were doing $150 per sale? And then how we bumped up to say, I'll just use 250 because it's a nice bump of uh, 150 to 250 per sale. Customer pays that much money. Um, and if you have questions on this, just, just post it in here, I'll answer them. Um, if you had 100 visitors come to your website and one person bought and they spent 150 bucks, then your earnings per click would be 150 divided by 100 equals EPC, earnings. What did I make, which is 150 per click, divided by clicks. Basic math, right? So in the first scenario, the answer to that is a buck 50. Okay, not bad. But it's bad if it costs me two bucks to get a click. Like if I go to uh, Facebook and it cost me two dollars and that's not the good example but well no this is a good example or if I run a banner ad like we all see banner ads it's, it cost me two dollars to get a banner ad uh, click well then guess what your cost per click is two bucks your your earnings per click are a buck fifty you're losing fifty cents not even taken into account of your cost of the product which we always budget twenty to thirty percent okay um, you're, you're negative 50 cents per click. So you're losing money. Every click you get, you lose money. Thanks for the, thanks for the like, guys. Um, thanks, Will. Appreciate it. Um, and so then, well, if I bump up my average ticket to 250, 250 bucks for every uh, sale, and I get one sale every 100 clicks, do the math. It's 250 divided by 100. What does that get you? $2.50 earnings per click. But guess what, Ed? It's costing me only two bucks per click. So guess what? Now I could sp I, I'm spending $2 to get $2.50 back. The magic question, everybody, all the all marketing experts ask this. How fast or how many clicks would you want at two bucks if you were making $2.50? Can you answer that? Post in there if you can answer it. The answer is as many as humanly possible, okay? And what happens is, is that every, there's a ton of guys who specialize in getting traffic. Like that's what they do. They're Facebook guys, they're email guys, they're, they could be affiliates, which means they get paid on, just on pure commission. And or they are um, uh, networks where you pay them as an agency or they are publishers, meaning they are kind of like an agency, but they, they make money by promoting products. They don't, they don't want any products, they just want to do that. Um, which that's a very hard business, man, just to only drive traffic. So they're constantly looking for somebody like you who's got a good product, who can work on a good conversion system and um, uh, bring good earnings per click. Why? Because if they could pay, how they make money is they, they may charge you $2 cost per click, but it might only cost them a buck seventy. So they make 30 cents every click. You make 50 cents, right? It's part of the game, it's arbitrage, right? So it's traffic arbitrage. A lot of guys are a lot better at this than I am 
and this is what they do for a living, right? This is what they do. I have, I have so many good friends that they know how to monetize, make, which means make money off this traffic, and they're in the health business. They're guys that will be at the intensive. They're people that you would never, ever, ever know unless you found your way into the like secret society of just badasses who do this stuff, right? So, um, so now, types of traffic, okay? Because I just want to address just probably questions that if I was sitting in your shoes, I'd be asking, right? No one, no one, by the way, no one shared this stuff with me when I was starting out. I wouldn't have lost all my money, let alone given it to me absolutely free. Check it out. You know what I'm drinking around? How many of you guys know Avocare Spark, right? It's pretty famous if you're in the Spark community. This is the orange flavor. I like it. You can, um, you can take this. You can go, you can go look at a, a brand name like Avocare. And you can take their formulation and you can go to these formulators and go, hey, I want the same thing, but just 10% different. Because I love the taste, I do it, blah, blah, blah. If I was in the health market or in the workout market where they like those like kind of energy bursts and stuff like that, um, this would be a product I would consider making on our own. Actually, I have considered it. Um, we, we cater to the baby boomer and senior market. So uh, there's a lot of heart issues and stuff like that. That's why I don't sell energy stuff. Uh, per se. Um, okay, where, where are we at, guys? Who can tell me where we're at? What am I, what am I talking about? I love this stuff. Do you like this? Is this good for you? Because this is good for me. Um, my, many of you don't know this. I have seven children. Uh, my wife's picking up, like I think, five of them at uh, school, so I'm getting this training in. Uh, I decided to do it on Facebook instead of set up my real camera, and this way my team can grab it, put it up on the page, or do whatever we got to do with it. Um, uh, traffic, types of traffic. So, so th there's a rule in traffic, and the rule is you got to figure out what source of traffic is most likely to convert to your offer. It has everything to do with who you modeled and what market research you did, okay? Remind me to get back to that, because that, that's my sweet spot, the market research, because everything else starts piling on top of each other. At the intensive, we will literally do probably three hours of teaching market research, because if you don't do the market research right, you are like literally uh, a blind man shooting an arrow hoping to hit the bullseye. You just, you just don't. You're guessing. And so if you're modeling, so one of the things I teach is that the way to make a fail-proof business is to base your business plan on a proven business model. Um, and then you do everything on what's called ground zero, okay? So let's say your traffic, so here's your options of traffic. Email traffic, I've talked a little bit about. You can go rent an email list to a highly targeted group of subscribers. Very good, very, very good. You could lead generate, which means just get them to lead generate, or you'd send them direct to your video sales letter, long form sales letter, uh, free giveaway funnel, whatever it might be for you. Um, I like this because it's very, very fast and it's very, very measurable. And it also is like an endorsement from that news site. Like so, let's say I went to a site called like healthynews.com or uh, you know CNN or foxnews.com. Those are bad examples because they're not. But like, I, if I go spend a thousand bucks, guess what they'll do? They'll send me, you know, probably close to 500, 600 clicks, like visitors. And I will find out very quickly where my sales uh, process works on that. The next one that I was gonna say was Facebook. Facebook is by far, as you're watching this, by the way, we'll probably boost this video to a targeted list of people who already know me. And since it's a video, people can watch it for three cents. It'll cost me three cents per view, okay? If you add people in here, if you share it, I guess which would be awesome. What's up, Anna? Um, which would be awesome. Guess what? Every every view after that is totally free. So the virality potentiality of Facebook, um, I thought my wife's here, she might be here. If you hear a lot of screaming and yelling, it's the kids coming home from school. But that's what's beautiful about Facebook. Both of those skill sets, both of those like email and Facebook advertising are learnable skills. You can learn them. This is not rocket science. Um, you can get really highly targeted demographics, really high, highly targeted, like whether they're men, women, they're all their interests. You can take customers that you currently have in your thing and put them up there. There's so many things you can do 
And here's what I want to share with you. Like my good friend Ezra Firestone, his um, his makeup or uh, his skincare, like I, I don't want to say anti-aging because he would call it pro-aging business, is doing 20 million a year. And I remember days before Facebook came about, they were like just kind of skipping along. Facebook came along. He put all his energy into learning Facebook advertising and how to get traffic from Facebook to convert on, on in his uh, skincare business and boom, not to me, yeah, because it's called boom. And, uh, same thing as like my good friend Drew Canoli, like with Organifi, they were doing good. Fa he's such a great personality that he was able to do videos way more better, way more better, I don't even think that's a word, way better than what this is. And guess what? His reach and impact was so much bigger that his business took off. And there's dozens of guys like this, guys that are just like me and you, that are just normal dudes who focused on learning traffic. So Facebook traffic gives you that opportunity, the ability to target. Now, after you, another source of traffic that's more of a relationship type of traffic is um, affiliate traffic. Affiliate means people who are endorsing your product. Now there's two types of affiliates, okay? <sighs> There's, there's the real warm type of affiliate who is like, um, who is, uh, what would I call it? Like, um, uh, what they have, the, like, like, a, like they have their own customer list. They're doing their own thing and they're like, Hey man, I want to promote your product. Okay. So, um, what happens then is guess what? Uh, their whole list gets endorsed to you. You pay them, say, 50%, 30%, 80% of the sale. It doesn't matter. If you're, you know, it depends. Like in, in supplement businesses, you usually pay 30 to 50% of the sale, okay? In information businesses, like where you're selling like a, a recipe book or a course, you would pay 80 to 90% uh, to acquire a customer. Kind of crazy, but I, I'll explain later. I'm, like I, I honestly won't be able to explain on this video today why that is. But um, that's affiliate traffic. You have to know people. You got to be in the mix. You got to know how to improve your conversion rate. You got to know how to understand what traffic means and how to communicate to people in a way that makes you look like a pro. Okay. Um, there's so many small things you, like knowing the basic like language of earnings per click. Most people on the on the planet don't know that. So if you know that, you instantly differentiate yourself, right? That's one way to do it. Um, but the other, other type of affiliate are like networks. And those are guys who may be in charge of like 100, 200 websites. And if you can get your offer to convert on their website, they have literally <clears throat> unlimited traffic for you. They could, blow, they could blow your business out of the water. You can literally be a guy who goes from 10 grand a month to 10 grand a day like that overnight. I mean, that's how fast it can happen. That was probably the biggest breakthrough I had when I went into the uh, the internet marketing health supplement business was I, I didn't realize how much volume of traffic there is out there and how by simply siphoning off a little bit of traffic to your, your product, I mean, think about how many people are on Facebook every day, man. Just imagine if you, all you gotta think about, ask this question, like what would I need to provide that audience, that target to, uh, to get like ridiculous um, sales? And if you come from a value perspective, you kick some butt on that. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna take one more sip. I got a couple more good things. If you have any questions, post them in here. That's why I did this Facebook Live so that even after I'm done recording today, you could post questions in there, I'll see them, I can come do that. Um, last two things I wanna share with you. Um, understanding product, we talked a little bit about that. It's all about having the right relationships with, so what you need to do is you need to have um, a couple of vetted out uh, formulators, people that do this for a living that are not there to rake you over the coals. And I got about three that I introduce people to. Um, the big secret, big secret, you ready to write this down? Is when you enter the health supplement business, you may have the best idea in the world, you have the, maybe have the best formulation in the world. The secret that will save your butt is do not go and get 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 units of the product 
until you have made sure your conversion sales cycle works. That is your, that's your job. That's your job, that's your job. If you do that, I just saved you months and months of cash flow problems and a big headache. I've made these mistakes, so that's why I'm sharing this with you. Um, so you need to have the right formulators. Very, very important, okay? If they're not willing to work with you on terms, I've met more guys who enter, who come into my mastermind, get my highest level coaching, and I get on the phone with them, and their sales are good. And they're like, Ed, I have a problem though. The problem is I gotta order 90 days of inventory now. And I'm like, that's not a problem. Why aren't you just doing that? Well, because I gotta pay for the product up front. And I'm like, oh, that's totally BS. No way, no freaking way. Well, so that means that company, you're driving, like say you're doing 100, 200 sales a day, which is very doable, that's 800 bottles a day. So then you're coming out of pocket, multiply that by say six, and then multiply it by 90, that's what they're asking you to come out of pocket so that you could then go sell all their products. What up Tony G, speaking of the man? Um, that is, uh, that is, um, that's just crazy, right? So you work with guys like Tony Grebmeyer who just joined, and you, you make sure that their interests align with yours so that when you start growing sales, you are not um, being held captive and your cash isn't getting sucked up by using those formulators. Now here's the thing, if you're a business like No Foods or you're a business like even Organifi or some of these other businesses that do something that is totally unique and they wanna be the unique thing, then you may end up deciding to either A, get an inventory line of credit, B, go out and raise a little bit of capital that you pay a percentage on, not give equity, that's the third option. It's a totally different conversation, but those are some of the other things. Okay, so I got that, I got that, I got that, I got that. And uh, at which point can you ask for product on, on credit? For example, second or third order? I mean, Mihai, I don't know if that's your name. Um, what you can do is instead of asking for credit, you ask, you ask them, hey, what is the lowest amount of run that I gotta do in order to get product to fulfill? And so it could be 50, 100 units. So you're only out of your pocket, like 400 bucks. I'm not gonna ask for credit on that. I'll just go ahead and pay it. Now, the one question I would ask is, hey, do you have terms on this? I would assume terms. And this is where like a referral goes a long way because now like if, you, if I refer you to one of my guys and I'm like, hey, he's one of my clients or he's one of my friends or he's one of my, he went through my event, boom, you have an endorsed relationship they might just out of the gate go, look, we'll give you 15, 30 days credit. Uh, but the minimum runs is your secret sauce there too. Okay, buddy? So the inventory turnover. So you're looking at a three week turn turnaround on most products once they are created the first time. I don't wanna go much deeper in it right now just cause I wanna get to inviting everybody to the intensive. Um, the last couple points that I would talk about are um, uh, team members and I would say the last, the, the going back full circle to market research uh, and then live training I guess, is number one, your team. So the first thing you need to hire is probably a project manager to help orchestrate your relationships between your fulfillment, your tech, and all those other things. Um, the next thing you gotta really identify, or probably the first thing you gotta identify is where is your love for this game at is it in the conversion side? Is it in the traffic side? Is it, what is it at? Where do you see your role as you as the leader of the team, the CEO, or where you are in the cog of the wheel? And once you figure out like what your unique abilities are, to use Dan Sullivan's term, what your super genius is, whatever term we wanna use on that, then you build a team around that. And there's a few different philosophies. Like, so my buddy Vinny Fisher will probably be at the live intensive, he said he will be but he, he's really a master at helping guys identify their teams. And me, personally, I, I like having everything virtual, um, even though we do have an office, but I don't necessarily, like I have seven kids, I like having my own schedule, I have them flexibility. So I've designed my life to fulfill that. You may be very different, and a lot of my friends, like Drew Canoli over at Organifi, 
I mean, they have a raving tribe there in San Diego. It's pretty amazing what they've done. So everybody's different. You just got to figure out what you want for yourself. And then we sequentially help build that out for you. Um, all right. That's pretty much it um, The that I wanted to cover now. I mean, we have um, a lot we can go over. I mean, obviously. So here's what I want to tell you. Number one is this. Um, I'd like to invite you to come out for a two-day training. I'm not going to give you the date on the training because this video may stay up for a while and um, we, we're probably going to have many of these coming up, um, but I don't know when. So, so coming up very, very soon is um, a two-day training here in Chicago. Um, it, it's called the Health Supplement and Product Intensive. And um, what you need to know about it is it's that it goes, it's a small group, small environment, in-depth training on every important key ingredient of the business. From market research to choosing the right product to choosing the right hook angle, how to do all that to knowing where your uh, traffic opportunity is. Um, one of my clients, uh, Stefan, um, is doing ridiculous numbers every day. He's a phenomenal guy, and he's a guy that um, uh, has a great formula for how to write sales copy for uh, the supplement industry, and so. Uh, hopefully Stefan will be there. If not, we have a recording of him doing it, which we'll share for everyone who uh, comes to this intensive. Um, I have other friends like Rowan Frazier, Vinnie Fisher, Tony G, uh, who uh, attend most of my events. I can't promise they're gonna be at the one you're at, but I know that at the one coming up very soon, they will be there. Many of my clients are just rock solid guys. I have Ed Clay, who's in uh, Mexico. He has, he's got a, a natural uh, treatment a hospital called Chipsa Hospital where they um, are literally helping people with stage three and stage four cancer and having just phenomenal results with them. We got clients in Canada, we got clients in London, um, we got them all over the world. And so um, in this event, I'm gonna walk through it A to Z. I will show you everything we did have done to go from uh, zero in bottles sold in supplements to over three quarter of a million bottles sold in supplements. And how I do that, raising seven kids, having a lovely wife, and staying physically fit, designing the business to serve my life rather than me be a, ser uh, a slave to my business. And that's one of the more important things for how we operate within it. Now, here's a couple other things you need to know. Um, number one, what's the fee, what's your investment? So the investment in the two day in intensive is uh, $5,000, okay? Um, if you pay up front, you get a $500 discount, 4,500 bucks, or you can break that up into two part payments of 2,500 each. Now, what's really important for you to understand, whether, like I don't know, I don't know if you feel like that's a lot of money or a little bit of money, right? But what's really important for you to understand is that um, if you are gonna go into this business that has the potentiality of putting multiple seven figures in your future wealth, you know, your future account in as little as one to three to four to five years, you, you do cannot afford to be messing around with guessing your way to making this a successful opportunity for yourself. You just can't. You know, the world's best athletes do not bounce around local gyms, hanging out with people. Where do they go? They go find the coach who's done it, the coach who's been there, the people who who um, are gonna give you all the shortcuts, uh, not saying it's easy, but they're gonna give you all the shortcuts to have an opportunity to be a part of an elite group of people learning super high level skill sets, okay? Um, I mean, if you break it all down, I promise you, I can full, wholeheartedly promise you, you will walk out of that door uh, 20Xing your investment into this event. Um, I mean, shit, I, I lost, I would have done anything to be able to pay 5,000 bucks up front to not have lost that 150,000 bucks. I would have done anything. Plus what you don't know is that it took me four to six months to get live to then go lose 150 grand. Okay. I had merchant accounts shut down. I didn't know who to trust. And the only thing that kept me going was mental fortitude and the mindset that, look, I was put here to do something great in this world and I 
was going to take responsibility for myself in our own circumstance. And all the guys who gave me advice that I didn't pay for, by the way, they made commissions on me. They were gone. They didn't. They did their thing. They got their stuff. They got. Their, they weren't there helping Ed out when the stuff hit the fan. They were just like, oh, I, I don't know, man. I don't know what happened. It's just bad people, whatever. It was. It was like they got their thing and they were on their way. So I promise you that is not what's going to happen here. The opposite is what's going to happen there. You're going to get straight from my mouth, straight from my heart. You're going to get everything I know that I could possibly deliver in two day intensive. You'll get insider access to people who are much more talented than I am at their things that they do. Traffic, uh, product, uh, scaling. Uh, can, when you're, you know, we have great conversations about like, hey, hey, Ed, I want to want to get in the supplement business. I want to sell it, you know, so I can go sell it someday. And well, you know, maybe you got to think totally differently about this, right? Maybe, maybe what you need to do is design a business that is pouring enough cash and you have enough uh, people in the business who run it for you that you never want to sell the business. And guess what? That's when someone would come along and buy this type of business, right? Um, info marketers, you know, who are out there teaching recipe uh, or how to burn fat, how to, how to be paleo friendly, how to, like there's so many information marketers who have great websites, tons of information, who guess what? Are barely scraping by on their income level day to day, day to day, month to month, because they don't know how to monetize and serve their customers. So what's happening, guys, is those customers are going to Amazon and just buying someone else's product. They're, they're the ones getting emails from other people buying their product. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's just amazing, amazing opportunity. If you are an investor, well, this might be a great opportunity to be in an environment where you start looking at businesses you wanna invest in. You know, if you're someone like me, I was in the dental marketing advice giving business and I segued over. People ask me like, well, how'd you do that? And I was like, it's freaking hard. I studied really hard. I learned, I failed, I learned, I failed, and I stuck with it. Um, and so the last thing I wanna share with you, I guess before we go, is it guaranteed? No, when you pay five grand, I'm promising my word of mouth, and there's nobody on the internet that's gonna come out and say, Ed O'Keefe's seminars suck. I promise you that. You don't see it. You can look up anything, say, hey, post on your Facebook feed. Has anyone ever been trained by Ed O'Keefe? Have you ever been around Ed O'Keefe? Have you, what's your experience with Ed O'Keefe? Go ask people, okay? The word of mouth on me is impeccable, right? Um, because we fully deliver when you come to a live training. Our live trainings are sick, they're amazing. Um, but the reason why I don't guarantee it is because I don't wanna attract people who come to the environment mentally thinking they can walk out at any time and get their money back and so they're not invested. If you want to go down this road, get emotionally invested, get mentally committed, and you're the type of guy or gal who's going to absolutely destroy it and crush it. Um, one last thing I want to share with you is that it's not only about supplements either. You know, like I have a media property that is in the health market. We rent it out. We make money renting it to people who want to rent it. You know, it's another way of doing business. Um, after after a period of time, you could always be a consultant. There's tons of people who need help. Um, all those direct mail companies who are selling direct mail are trying to come online. If you're the guy who knows how to do online marketing, guess who they go to? They'll hire you. You can go get them. You know, it's, it's on and on and on. Amazon.com. So to how to dominate, you know. Uh, we have Will uh, Pettit is going to be there. We have um, Facebook video ads. We're, we're working on some new, different, unique methods of selling, on, uh, selling our products in a very simple fashion that makes selling so freaking easy. And uh, we're stoked about it, you know. This is the best time to get in the game. So that's it. So below this video should be a link uh, taking you to the where you can order, where you can sign up. Um, if you have any questions, post it in here. Let us know. Uh, no private messages. Uh, you can try private messaging, actually. I don't care. Just pri private message. Someone will get me the message and I'll do my best to get it back to you. Um, but again, five grand. Not a lot of money for an enormous opportunity. All my um, mastermind members pay uh, 25K a year, $25,000 a year to meet four times a year. Um, private clients, 20 grand for a day of consulting to just sit down with me. Um, so, you know, you're getting a steal of a deal. So that's it. I'm out. Tony, thanks for jumping on. Mihai, thanks for jumping on. Anna, thanks for jumping on. 
And anyone else who's out there, thanks for jumping on. And uh, you guys are all amazing. And I appreciate you. All right. I'm going to finish this up.